Hey everyone, it's Alana and welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing you a readathon TBR. Now I've never done a readathon before, but I thought may as well start with one that seems like the hardest, but also the most beneficial for me. So the readathon that I'm talking about is of course the Tome Topple Readathon, which is hosted by Thoughts on Tomes, along with a whole bunch of other hosts. I first saw it on Kaz's channel on Little Book Hours. I will tag both of their videos down below, which has all the information that you will need if you would like to participate as well. Basically, this readathon runs from the 9th to the 22nd of November, and the main thing is that the book or work that you choose to read has to be over 500 pages. Now, the reason why I called this the most beneficial readathon for me is because I have some thick ass books on my shelves, which I need to read, otherwise, they will probably stay on my shelves for a very long time. There are of course a few challenges as well to go along with this readathon. The first one being read more than one tome, the second one being read the tome that's been on your TBR for the longest, the third one read a tome that is part of a series, challenge number four read a tome that is in a genre you don't usually read, and then the fifth and final challenge is read an adult novel. From what I've gathered, you don't have to complete all the challenges, it's just a fun way to help structure your TBR if you follow them. So without further ado, I may as well show you what I'm planning on reading slash what I'm tossing up between. I'm very much a mood reader, so this could end up being my TBR, but this could also end up not. But Here's what I'm thinking so far. The Crow Girl by Eric Axel Sund pretty much covers most of the challenges. This is a freaky ass book which has been on my shelf since March and is actually on loan from one of my friends. She gave it to me, said read it, return it whenever you're ready, and I haven't read it and returned it yet. So I really need to get this off my shelves, which means I need to get it read. This book also covers challenges two, four, and five. Number two being a book that's been on your TBR for the longest. Number four being a genre that you don't usually read. And number five being an adult novel. Now my friend that has loaned this to me said that this was pretty messed up. It's like psychological thriller horror stuff, which I don't remember the last book I read in that genre, so... This will be a ride, and I'm scared shitless, but that's fine. The second book that I'm hoping to topple in this readathon is Something by Robin Hobb. Now, I'm showing you Dragonhaven at the moment because this is the book I'm currently up to. This is the second book in the fourth section of the multiverse that Robin Hobb has got going on. I'm probably going to have this one finished before the readathon starts, but most of these books. In fact, pretty much everything but the first novel, I think, are over 500 pages. The Robin Hobb books fall under challenges three and five. Three being read a tome that is part of a series, and number five being an adult novel. These are not YA. They are hectic. I love them because they have consequences, so adult novel. And then the last book that I was sort of tossing up with this TBR was the most challenging, I feel. It is Sleeping Beauties by Stephen and Owen King. Let me just start by saying I have never read a Stephen King book in my life, so I feel like this is a bit ambitious. It's huge. How many pages have we got? Okay, it's like over 700 pages long. So I don't think I will get around to this, but on the off chance that I get through those other two books, this is one of the largest books on my shelves at the moment that has not been read and could potentially stay that way. But it's here and it fits this readathon. So yeah, that's my TBR for the Tome Topple readathon. I'm excited to participate in my first readathon. I'm hoping that I do actually get to participate. November has a few things going on, but I feel like the last like three months have all had huge things happening, so I may as well just try and cram as much into my month as possible. Once again, I will leave two of the hosts for the readathon down below, which include all of the, you know, announcement information that you need to know. But yeah, that's it for this video. Let me know if you've read any of these three books, or if you will be participating, what will you pick up? And I will hopefully see you for a reading vlog, maybe. We'll see. See ya.